What's up? What's up? What's up? Hello, 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 hello IT farm. <laughs> I yes. get this right if I'm from. Yeah, good afternoon to you. Um, yes, yes, yes. And happy new month. Um, yeah, and for those July. of you in Canada, happy Canada Day. Happy We're still Canada in the Canada Day, Day yes, weekend. Right. Yeah, so um, we just wanted to do this short intro video right. to introduce like the next couple of posts that I'll be doing on the channel for maybe the next two, three weeks. Okay. We are going to be talking about, or uh, we are going to be answering some questions yes related relationship. to, to relationships, relationships and, and dating and those kind of things yeah and courtship and yeah. whatever shapes <laughs> all the shapes all the shapes yeah. yeah so because um over the past few months we've had right. a chance to like um speak at programs where young people are asking questions about relationships and we thought that this was like really good yeah. content so let's share it with all of you so exactly uh, so this next set of videos that we are going to do we are very short because we had to our answers needed to be very short i think maybe like two minutes or less mm -hmm. so these ones are very short we are not going to go into like serious detail but the ones which come that's where we are going to find like really meaty answers where we are looking at different perspectives from right you know different like different perspectives like really thorough answers and i mean once again it's just sharing our thoughts and perspectives but i believe they are sound and they are helpful to oh yeah and it's all who, based on um the bible yeah because we are believers and so that is our guide. perspective yeah. yeah so that's our perspectives feel free to um have your own opinion it's fine yeah and these are just our opinions yep so. and yeah as always if you have any questions pressing questions i mean the questions are a lot when it comes to like you know relationships and courts it's just like yeah. the questions are always so much so like yeah if 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 you see that the interest is still there maybe for the next month we'll be posting just on, on that right? answering those questions yeah yeah we hope it will be a blessing to you and we will reach out to you so uh please don't forget to like the video like the video um share share subscribe, subscribe. comment <laughs> Do all that that Do you're all doing that. to support yeah. this channel, and right. we'll see you in the next one. All right, okay. Stay tuned. Thank you. Bye. So, how do you know if you are in the right relationship or if you are dating the right person? For me, I had a number of things I was praying to God about, and two of my list is like the vision of the person and the attitude of the person. So when I talk about the vision of the person, I mean, where is the person going in terms of ministry, in terms of career? For example, some guys came my way who were not necessarily bad, but the, their vision was kind of not syncing with my vision. For example, they wanted to stay in Ghana all their lives. Meanwhile, I knew God was calling me abroad. And so that is an example. And when it comes to attitude and character, I had a number of things I was looking out for in a future husband, you know, beyond the person can play, you know, beyond the person can really fast. I was looking at some practical things, and not to say playing is not practical or fasting is not practical, but I was looking at some, you know, things that, you know, would really help me in my marriage. And so, like patience, like when my husband is upset, how would they behave towards me and my children? So these were really important to me. Yeah. And if that doesn't work up and you get to the point where you have to break up, <laughs> unfortunately yeah. or sometimes fortunately <laughs> what are some of the things that you have to consider right. i believe in having an honest conversation with the person to mm -hmm. actually lay down the issues right. and to find out what exactly is going on are we still feeling the same way that we we're feeling about each other in the beginning right. do we still have the same convictions that we had um it happens that maybe one person is not interested right. and wants to check out but you are so interested look you can't force anyone no. to remain in a relationship if they don't want to right. so at that point what do you have to do well what worked for me in my case is we had the discussion we agreed that we wanted to go our separate ways yeah and we ended it with a prayer wow. and we prayed for god to Amazing. grant us guidance yeah. and to bless us as we went our separate ways and we called it quits then and the prayer really helped with the emotional you know yeah. out uh, the emotional effect afterwards and in right. dealing with it and not getting too emotionally worked up about the breakup so so they are not your enemies they are not my enemies see them they are my friends and still talk to them, and talk right? with them and, and so everything is okay so that's a healthy breakup yeah, yeah. thank you
So when it comes to dating and courtship and some of the ways in which you are expected to conduct yourself while you are in that relationship, um, I think it's important to understand that even though you are committed to getting married to this person, there are certain boundaries that you should respect and there are certain no-go areas that you should not venture in Mm -hmm. to avoid trouble. What are some of these areas? You know, I don't think you should be visiting each other to perform domestic activities, you know, cooking for the person and washing their clothes. And, you know, sometimes it goes into the area of physical intimacy. You should learn to respect the boundaries and know that once you are not married, there are certain no-go areas. And these are, are, are things that will prevent future troubles. You know, some people even go to the extent of demanding help for you know paying my school fees paying my lodging fees and so many really deep commitments that should you never know what would happen tomorrow it could happen that you might have to go your separate ways and then you start feeling cheated or taken advantage of yeah. and that would not augur the best for your relationship so i think to just to add to what we're saying what really helps is you setting the boundaries right at the beginning of the relationship that's true so some people take these things for granted mm. but you need to have that honest conversation so for example kweku and i we had that conversation i never cooked for kweku no. when we're dating i never washed kweku's clothes and vice versa i never slept in kweku's house like mm. we never did the, we, we never did those things because we understand what the bible says you know that our body is the temple of God and yeah. the two of us our main goal is to please God that's true and like he said too many demands on the the lady or on the guy pay my tuition do this and that for me yeah. so what we really want to communicate is boyfriend girlfriend uh, roles versus wife husband roles are, are very different apart. So don't let the lines become blurred. (laughs) Yeah, don't let the lines become blurred. And if your boyfriend or your girlfriend is not doing something for you that a husband or a wife should do, don't say because of that they don't care for you. You will be, you know, unreasonable if you think that way. Yeah, all right. Thank you. So when it comes to platonic relationship, my advice would be, as you're growing up, just, you know, don't commit to any one relationship. Have as many friends as possible. You know, some of you would start to say someone is my boyfriend or girlfriend in junior high school. I mean, come on. Or like some people do it also in senior high school. I would advise to not commit you know just get to know people get to know their behaviors and their characters and i i believe as you mature you get to university some of all of these things you learn from your relationship with all of your friends you know harmless friendships you know will contribute to a better marriage yeah And when it comes to dealing with crashes, if you have a crash on someone, someone has a crash on you, well, if it's a crash, that means that it's not going to last forever. So, yeah, it's just nice to have that feeling. Um, Don't let it lead you to do anything, you know, foolish. But kind of like just just enjoy it while the feeling is there. Yeah, enjoy it while the feeling is there. As I said, don't let it lead you to do anything foolish. It's just. A nice feeling that you seem to like this person so much and something about the person mm. and I mean you might not necessarily let them know it but then after some time you'll be surprised to find out that wow this was a person that I had a crush on <laughs> but I don't seem to have any feelings for them anymore yeah, or the person who had a crush on you is suddenly not excited about you anymore it's all part of the excitement of growing up as a, as, as a youth but then you have to keep this at the back of your mind that you do not do anything you do not want to do anything that will not be pleasing to god and also remember that you know god is going to hold you to account so be very careful what you do but enjoy the feeling enjoy the face (laughs) it's exciting talk about it with your friends laugh and giggle about it behind your backs and um all these things are part of shaping your relationships for the future thank Thank you. you